Hey, 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 Pisces. Oh, uh, you're up. Let's get your energy. Leading. Step out in front. Nice. Head of the pack, baby. Let's go. All right, Pisces. Stick around at the end of the reading to find out how you can get a chance to win a free 10-minute private reading with moi. All right. Three tarot to start us off, please. Ah, oh, this is new for you. <laughs> You're not so sure you want to step out in front. You don't like getting the limelight. Is that true? Um, you're a little conflicted. So if this is business, this is maybe an opportunity you have to step up into a higher role, a bigger leadership position. If this is any other type of relationship, still leading, um, but there's a conflict here. Um, maybe you don't want to lead. So for instance, if this is a romantic relationship, um, you don't want to lead. You don't want to, there's honestly, if this is romantic, you have figured out that you're fine on your own. And unless someone's going to come in and make your life easier, AKA take the lead. Um, I don't know that you're interested. So if this is a romantic relationship, I think you're a little bit in conflict whether this other person can take the lead. I feel like, it, which is interesting because it's reversed. So if this is a romantic situation, um, you're used to taking the lead and you don't want to do that here. If this is a work-related situation, you're being called to take the lead and it's, you're not so sure you want to. So it's very interesting, um, depending on, and I'm not saying that you Pisces are in both situations. Uh, you could be, but I feel like it's one or the other, but it's very interesting that in one dynamic, you like to take the lead or you are used to taking the lead, but, it, but in the romantic relationship, you don't want to. And then in the business relationship, you're used to just kind of following the higher ups. And this time you're being called to be a higher up. I think I said that 18 different ways, but I mean the same thing by all of it. <laughs> it's funny how much this past round of the Zodiac, I'm getting just double meanings on all the cards. But there's a big change here with the chariot. And I think you may be shocked, if this is a business situation, I think you may be shocked that when you do take the lead, it's actually going to turn out better than you thought. But tell me what this conflict is. You don't like conflict is the problem. So it's not even conflict within yourself. It's conflict in the situation. You're, it, it's almost like, well, I'm screwed if I do and I'm screwed if I don't. So that's feeling definitely like in a business situation. Tell me about this. Uh, if it's a romantic situation and you want someone else to take the lead, you don't want to have to ask them to take the lead. So that's the conflict. You're like, why do I have to ask them? They should just naturally want to do it. So. Um, so if that's the case, be done. Don't try to wait to see if they decide they want to take the lead. Um, like, and then c confliction erased, right? If, if that's what you want and that's not happening and you feel you're going to have to ask them to do it, um, maybe that's not your energy. Maybe that's not your partner. Tell me about the chariot. <laughs> Indecision, again, the conflict and the indecision surrounding all, both these scenarios is, um, it's just not working out. It's not an easily solved situation. 
So places where you're used to taking the lead and you don't want to, places where you're not used to taking the lead and you do want to, all of it, like none of it is matching up. So why is the four of cups here? The world on the four of cups, why? Uh, okay, I'm gonna challenge you with this because you're actually, this is, when you make this decision, this is the missing piece to everything coming together. You're looking for the answer. You're looking for, why can't it all just be fine? It will. It, but it's a matter of you actually really figuring out what you want. Are you taking the lead or are you sitting behind? And when you make that decision, everything comes together. I don't know that it really matters the decision you make. Trust your gut. What do you want? What do you want? All right, let's see if we can piece this apart. Um, like I said, this is feeling very much romantic relationship. It's also feeling very business relationship. I want to try to separate the two out in the deep dive and see if we can get a little more clarity on both because the energies are just like bouncing off each other. And I don't think you're necessarily in both situations. I think you're either in the romantic one or the business one and, and the energies are combating each other. Um, funny enough, both energies are trying to fig figure out which one's going to take the lead in this reading. So to the deep dive we go, we're gonna split them apart. If you're watching this on YouTube, the link to the extension is below this video in the description. If you're watching on TikTok, you'll have to copy and paste the URL and uh, or copy the URL and paste it to the search bar in your internet browser. For those of you who make it over to the deep dive, your name automatically gets entered into a drawing and seven days from now, choose a name for a free 10 minute reading if it is yours I will contact you through the email associated with the extension. All right, I'll see you over there. If not, I'll catch you back here next time. Good luck with this, Pisces. Ciao, ciao for now now.